Hey, how's it going? And I just wanted to do a quick video on how to append the localizes message type. This is very similar to a tutorial I've done on setting text on a HUD device. And so we just use this my message localizes the message type. And here we're just setting a string. And this is very simple to understand. And then down here on the my billboard, which references a billboard device, it just set text with my message up here. So it's that part's very straightforward. And if we come in here and I build my verse code because I've been messing around with it and I push those changes, save, and then hopefully I jump into verse in a second here and I hit that trigger, we should see the message pop up. See? says let's face it you are awesome okay that's kind of hard to see so one thing we can do is if I go into the billboard device I can actually on the background here I can increase the opacity just so that it's it's easier to see all right so I'll just end the game now I want to go and explain to you how you can append this and this was driving me absolutely crazy because I couldn't understand it so anyway, this is the simple way here. This is unappended, I guess you could say. So now I'm just going to go ahead and comment that out. And you're going to see I'm going to get a message because it doesn't recognize this. And so now I've already have this code written. I'm just going to get uncomment this. I'll get some red squiggly lines in here, but let me just show you the difference between these two. So if we add a parentheses after the localizes specifier and we give it a a come up with a variable name or a constant name and we give it a type a common type like an integer or a string or a float or whatever in this case I make it an integer that's all I have to do and then at the end here within my string if I put curly brackets and put in that variable name then I can append my message down here. So I'll show you what I mean. So now if I hit, let me comment out that code there. Now I'm getting an error down here because it recognizes my message, but then it also sees that I've appended it and it's not being appended. I can just put in the actual data type, which would be, let's say, 100. Yeah, so I can't put in the variable name, but I can put in the type that it is, which is 100. So now if I come into Unreal Editor and I build those changes and push that code and then I go into Fortnite back into Fortnite go start game and I go on this trigger you'll see it says my secret name is a hundred of course that's not it doesn't even make sense but that it's recognizing that and I'll come back in here to the verse code and Oh, what I was going to show you now, what I have this right now is my number and it's set as an integer. But what I can do is set this to, I can set this to a string and go my string and change it to a string and then change this to that variable name, which is my string here. Then what I can do is I can come down here and add that string value down here. So it so all I have to do is just, I can put any kind of string that I want. It'll recognize any string data type that I put in those parentheses now. So I can put the messages, my secret name is, and then I could put in Bobby Jones or whatever. So then if I come back into the verse and I build the code and I push those changes and then I come back into Fortnite Hit start game. It should say my secret name is Bobby Jones. So my secret name is Bobby Jones. So I can end the game right there. And now I'm going to show you one last thing with this. And to be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure why you'd even want to do this. But at least shows you that you have the functionality to, to do this. So here I just literally typed in the string type here but what you can also do is if you come up here you can set a string value called my string name if you set it up here outside of 
this main function, you can type this value in. So because it's a string type, you can type in my string name. And then it will recognize whatever you put in here. So if you want to append the my message type, the localizes message type, you just put parentheses after it with whatever, give it a name, give it a data type, and then put the parentheses here and type that name over here. Then you can add it with parentheses down here by either putting in a value up here, creating a new constant up here and popping it in, or by just typing in the actual string. So here again, I can just type in parentheses as if it were the string. I can just type in Sam Jones or whatever. So anyway, take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.